Hey there. I'm here to tell you about a little program called Quartz Composer. Now this comes free with the OS X operating system on the install CD, and you can find it with the developer utilities. Now a lot of people don't know about this program, but those that do really tend to like it. So I'm going to boot up Quartz Composer and show you some of the things you can do and how to use it. Okay. We want a basic composition, but you can see here that you can do a graphic animation, transition, image filters, music visualizers, you can make your own iTunes music visualizers in Quartz Composer, RSS visualizers, screen savers, and mesh filters, which will be useful for those of you into 3D modeling. But we're just going to start with the basic blank composition. Okay, not much to see. But we're going to show you what we see. Now let's bring up what we're actually going to be seeing on the viewer. Right now, you don't see anything. That's because we're not displaying anything at all. Now, this is a billboard. It's the thing you'll be plugging image data into. It's the thing that will be displaying information inside the viewer. But right now, it's not displaying anything. Let's change that a little. Actually, we don't need the billboard at the moment because the cube renders itself. Now, right now it only looks like a box, but I assure you it is three-dimensional. Let's see how. I'm going to bring up a tab called Interpolation. Just as soon as I... Now, as a 3G object, we're going to plug this into the X rotation. Mm, yes. And we're going to set its start value to 0 and its end value to 360 so we can get a complete loop around the cube. And just like that, we have a revolving cube. Now you can change the color on its sides, but that's going to take a little much time. It's kind of tedious to do. But if you want to do it, it's right down here. That's all you have to do. And that's moving a little fast, so let's slow it down to 5 seconds. There we go. Now, you might notice this is colored blue. They recently changed the color schema for Quartz Composer in OS 10.6. Blue patches seem to represent a patch that will render image data. Black patches seem to represent patches, which is what we call all of these, that take both input and output. There's another kind of patch that only outputs. And it's this pink one here. Now I know you're saying to yourself, wait a minute, these are inputs here. True, but its main purpose is outputting data. And we're going to bind the position of the mouse to the position of the cube, just for fun. I'm only grabbing the X position and the Y position of the mouse and putting it in the X position and the Y position of the cube. And just like that, the cube follows my mouse around. So there you go. That should give you a basic idea of the things you can do in Quartz Composer and a basic idea of how things work. We'll get into more of that later, but we hope this starts you off well. Till then, ciao.